Magnus De Vett, manager from uh, the JC of the Derivatives Specialist Group, standing by to, to, to run us through how South Africans can get exposure to Facebook. Of course, Magnus, we know that the price of the Facebook share has been set at $38 a share. It will raise $16 billion in its debut. It could go up to $18 billion. It's the third largest IPO in U.S. history. So all the Facebook euphoria has been in the market for some time now. Uh, give us an idea of how South Africans can get exposure to Facebook via the futures market. Morning. Yes, Samantha. Very exciting times here at the JSC. With, with exchange control in South Africa, it is obviously quite difficult for investors to invest overseas and take, currently you can take only one million dollar, uh, one million rand out, out of South Africa with regards to exchange control and to actually invest with regards to that uh, does, does limit you. So what we've do, done at the JSE is we've created uh, a market called the IDX, the International Derivatives Market, where we list single stock futures on blue chip international companies. Uh, basically how this market works is it's a cash settled futures market where investors can uh, invest and take a view with regards to the underlying uh, instrument in this in this case uh, Facebook and uh, then will take and realize a rand cash value depending if their view was correct or not. Okay, so, so basically South Africans can get exposure. Do we know how, uh, how many shares of those are being listed? Or how, how many there are? How liquid is this SSF? Okay, great. Good, good question. Uh, at this stage, all we do at the JSC is obviously we create a facility. We create a market where buyers and sellers can come and participate in it. Um, at this stage, due to the time differences, we've, we've, we will be listing the instrument. We're looking at, at a price of around about 320 Rand. Since this is a single stock future, um, uh, it would be a geared instrument. We would be requiring around about 20% or about 65 Rand initial margin. That gives you about a five, six times gearing with regards to this instrument. With regards to liquidity, we obviously at this stage, like I said, it is, it is exactly like trading a normal single stock future. You would have to contact your broker. Your broker would have to contact one of the international market makers, being Deutsche Bank or Investec. They would then use their offshore balance sheet. They would buy or sell the Facebook uh, overseas when the markets open later this afternoon. And on the back of that, they will write you the single stock futures, which will then be regulated and traded on the JSE as per any of your other normal single stock futures. So will South Africans be able to trade the share today, that single stock future today, or will it only be Monday? It would, they would be able to trade this afternoon um, when, when the U.S. markets open. And obviously, depending on, on availability of script, uh, if, if our local market makers, and I mean, I'm talking about uh, big names, Deutsche Bank, Investec, if they are able to get the, the script in the underlying overseas markets later this afternoon, and they will definitely be able to make your, uh, you a price. Let's uh, broaden the conversation to look at a trade on the South African Futures Exchange right now. How have you, how have you seen volumes uh, as a result of all the volatility and uncertainty panning out in the markets? Because uh, on, from looking at the numbers that we saw for quarter one, it seems like um, volumes had fallen back quite a lot. Liquidity has uh, dried up to some extent. Is that, is that something that has started to plague the market? Um. It, 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 it differs from product to product. What we found on the derivatives markets is uh, uh, volatility. Volatility is an input parameter when you're pricing up options. So as you correctly said, in volatile markets, what will happen on the JSE and specifically the equity derivatives market, our, our options instruments will, will pick up in, in value traded. Uh, in, in, uh, what we have uh, ever noticed in the last, uh, in this first uh, uh, quarter of this year, we've actually had an increase. So from an equity derivative market point of view, our values traded has uh, been fortunately for us been up. But yeah, it is, it's uncertain times out there. Um, nobody knows where this market is going.